What's going on guys? Matt Schaefer back here with another Mosaic audio file conversion for you. This one in a Tesla Model 3. Uh, this is a big one. It's a show car. So I got some creative freedom on this one to not always make it completely functional and uh, all that kind of stuff. So we did some pretty cool, cool stuff this and really excited to show you this one. A lot of labor and love went into this one to make it unique, different, show worthy. Um, client originally asked us if we can incorporate the limited run Tesla tequila into the trunk. And first I want to apologize. Uh, my Sony cam broke, so I'm using my phone. Don't have a good mic here. So if you hear wind noise or anything like that, I apologize. But starting off with the Tesla tequila bottle, uh, if you don't already know, Tesla made a limited run uh, tequila. So limited edition sold out pretty quick. So this is actually full of tequila from Tesla. And if you look through that bottle, you can actually see the Utopia M 10 inch subwoofer right there. So uh, the idea I had was to acoustically aerate the tequila. So a lot of spirit companies like whiskey companies, tequila companies, they will aerate the spirit in order to give it a different taste or whatever it is. Um, so this actually has show and function at the same time. So the subwoofer plays underneath the tequila, therefore aerating the tequila. The tequila is basically um, in the car here, overlapped here and here, so you can't physically take it out. So it can't be stolen out of show or anything. Now, this is all grill material that the sub plays through. So this is the sub grill, which is also lighting up with multiple variations of LEDs. I can overlay a video here so you can see it at night. So you can see what, you know, it looks like fully lit up. So yeah, there's multiple layers here in the trunk creating this unique shape. Obviously, if you know me, you know I love to do different layers, starting with like the bottom layer. You can actually see through these two layers of acrylic here, it's perforated uh, Alcantara suede. So that's physically the top of the subwoofer enclosure. And then you have like four or five layers of acrylic here, all lit up differently through their own controllers. And also kind of tough to see, but you see this wrap here, it matches the wrap on the outside of the vehicle. So it's bringing that into play. It ha the car has a white interior, which is why we chose this white acrylic. Uh, we have multiple layers again. We have our perforated, perforated. We have a fiber light here. We have Alcantara on the top. All this is rastered out with our laser. More perforated, another fiber light here that's controllable, any color you want. And then we did these carbon fiber rails to match a lot of the other carbon fiber accessories. He's got carbon wheels, carbon splitter. Uh, we did a bunch of carbon in order to bring that whole theme together with the car. So this was all hand laid, parts completely custom made. If you wanna see how to do carbon fiber, I can uh, attach the video. I did, did like a how-to video a long time ago on how to wet lay up carbon fiber. So you can check that out. And then uh, we have our other layers of suede and again, the white. We have an aux lithium ion battery back here, 12 volt in order to offset the power of the amplifier. So basically in this specific car, the Model 3 and Model Y are a bit different to where the uh, power of the car stops charging the battery to a point, okay? And because of that, the capacitors will completely drain of the amplifiers. And then when you turn on the car, there'll be an amperage spike, much like if you touch you know, power to the amp for the first time, you get that little spark, that amperage spike. Um, and when the car senses that, it thinks that there's something wrong with the battery. So as we do this here, it's offsetting that. It's always keeping this charged in order to not have that amperage spike, right? Uh, so there's this is hooked up to a battery isolator, so when the MCU turns on, it connects this to the car, right? All right, so we have our Utopia M10 right there. Again, you can see it through the Tesla tequila bottle. And then we have the Helix C amplifier. So we have two C4s here and here. This one's gonna power the mid-range and the tweeter. This one's gonna power the mid-bass woofers and the rear speakers. 
and then we have a C1, which is powering our subwoofer. So, a bunch of Class AB amplifiers. Love these Helix amps, they're beautiful. And of course, uh, it really helps that they light up red. The, the red lights are from the factory, from the style of the amplifier. The acrylic tops are all as these amplifiers come. So I thought they'd be a really good uh, way to, you know, kind of make, make the install a little bit more showy. But again, you can see more layers up top, our alternating black and white acrylic. And then we have multiple layers of lit acrylic. And then of course we have our vehicle wrap that you see on the outside as well. And then our Helix branding there. Carbon over there as well. You can easily pull this to get to all the lighting modules. So you can easily connect to them. And then behind here is where we have our Helix DSP Ultra and the battery isolator and all that kind of stuff. I can overlay a picture so you can see what that looks like behind here. To break down what we did on the inside, a lot of work as well went on to the inside of this vehicle. We have our factory MCU. We have our Helix conductor controller. This is our DSP controller. This whole piece was made for the MCU to trim it out and to hold it. So from the factory, there's nothing down here, but this is gonna be our controller for our factory sound, right? So it'll play everything that the MCU plays like factory. You don't lose any functionality. And basically you have three separate preset. Preset one is going to be the factory radio. Preset two is going to be the HECBT, which is basically a chip that docks into the processor that you can stream your phone directly to for better sound quality than if you were connecting to this here on the MCU. Uh, these cars, any Teslas in general, they don't have any factory amplifier interfaces for aftermarket equipment. So you can't get a perfect digital signal or perfectly organic signal. You're summing everything together and then signal correcting to get the best audio signal. Whereas when we're Bluetooth streaming on the HECBT, we're getting a perfect digital signal directly to our processor, no clipping, perfectly good flat digital input. Preset three is going to be the input for our high res player, right? So it's gonna be our Astell and Kern SP2000 is what we're using in this car. And this is going to give us the best audio signal to the speakers that we installed. And to go furthermore in what we have physically installed, we have Focal Utopia M eight inch mid bass right there in the door. And adapters and brackets were made to get these perfectly in the factory locations. So we didn't have to modify the door or anything. Uh, you can fit an eight in there. It takes a little bit of modification. It can't be a super deep eight. So the Utopia M eight actually works out great in this specific car. The full interior and exterior of that door panel are fully sound treated with sound shield, hush mat. There's black hole tile on the inner part of that door skin to kind of eliminate any back wave reflections from the lower mid base there. Also adds a lot more mass there to that door panel, creating a better acoustic environment. So as far as the tweeters go, we use the Focal Utopia M tweeters. And that's what you see here in these custom sail panels. We have the Focal Utopia M mid-range, uh, the 3.5, here in these custom pillars. And all of these components were made for this application. Again, we included the carbon fiber, so that's 20 ounce carbon fiber that we hand laid up. We designed that grill, we designed the A-pillar. If you can see, there's a body line that rides right down the pillar there might be able to see it a little bit better there. But yeah, there's a really cool body line here that makes that hard shape look a lot more organic when it's on the pillar. You know, it starts from the top of the pillar and then it ends at the point of where we have those mid-range aiming. We added a insert here to the top, fully wrapped it in Alcantara. So this is helping with a lot of the reflections on the dashboard. Of course, we have our carbon here and our carbon on the side. So you can kind of see the whole carbon fiber theme carry throughout the entire vehicle to, you know, make it look all complete. You won't be able to notice here in the daytime, maybe you will, is you see how that light just turned on on the mid-range. So we have RGB lighting 
on the speakers as well. So he can choose whatever color, they can rotate whatever it is when he's showing the car. We redid the whole headliner to Alcantara. So that whole headliner there is completely redone. Then another thing you're gonna notice is that center grill. That's not there from the factory. We added that as a pass through for the subwoofer to move some of that air and pressure from the trunk into the inside of the car. So we got a hold of the same grill material and we did the same type of design to make it look like it's a factory grill. Again, that wasn't there from the factory, but we added that for the pass through for the sub in the rear. And then we finished that uh, deck and we rewrapped it in Alcantara to match everything else. You see more carbon back there. And of course our Alcantara that comes all the way up to the front. Uh, all this was gray before, just like you see here. We got our power from the penthouse here underneath the seat. I can overlay some pictures to show you what the circuit breaker looks like. Our fuses, all that kind of stuff reside underneath the rear seat for easy serviceability and functionality. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you want to see us talk about the high res player or some of this other stuff, I would say listen to our podcast. There's a lot of episodes that we really get into full detail about why we use certain things, why we do pillars, you know, why I'm placing the tweeters here to get the best and widest stage possible. If you have a lot of those questions furthermore than what you're seeing, I absolutely suggest that you check out the podcast. It's called the Old Fashioned Car Audio Podcast. It's streaming now on Spotify. Me and my friend Gary Bell, we talk and we talk a lot about the different things in how to make audio in 2022 sound good in the car because a lot has changed since 1995 right and when a lot of people were into this and what you can achieve today is so far superior than what you could have achieved back in the day with dsp technology and tuning and uh i would just say if you have questions about some of the stuff that you see it, it really gives answers behind why we do what we do so give that a look also thank you guys for always following and checking out these videos i really appreciate it uh, most of my jobs come from YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. So I, I got to thank you guys for following and watching and seeing these builds. It's always fun to have a job like this and to be able to get creative without worrying so much about keeping everything looking stock in OEM or stealth, right? Because a lot of the jobs I do, we're doing some very stock looking and OEM jobs without a lot of flair, but on a car like this, I get to, you know, push the envelope a little bit more. Yeah, it still looks like it's supposed to be here, but at the same time, it's it's got a lot more flair than I would typically add to say an A-pillar, right? So thank you guys, keep the cars coming. Uh, follow my TikTok, at the real Matty S. I do a lot of video breakdowns, and some cool editing to like radar jobs and like what we did in here. So give that a look, obviously follow me on Instagram, you can follow me here at The Real Matty S. That's my main music design. And then, of course, Sound Effects Automotive. Those are our three handles. Check out our website, musicdesign.com, to see a lot of the build logs with the videos. So if you want to find one place where all the pictures and video are attached together and see the behind-the-scenes pictures, check that out. It's a great resource. I highly recommend it. Obviously, if you're new here on YouTube, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. Turn on the notifications, that way you're alerted anytime we drop a new video so you can always stay up to date. And if you want to contact me personally for a job, here's my phone number followed by my email address. These are the two best points of contact for you to get a hold of me regarding a job. And like always guys, I appreciate the support and I'll see you on the next one.